so this is actually a part two this is a part two of the rack cleaning uh process that i do here so basically what i've done here is i've i've wiped out the container i've wiped it out um i use like a small diluted disinfectant for that as well kind of wiped it out put some cardboard down stuff like that just a little bit of cardboard there um i still got to get a little bit more cardboard for right there Let's see if I can find uh, another piece here. And our, uh, so I'm gonna use that. And I, I just, you know, for rats, when you have rats, it, you, you know, it's it's smart to just keep cardboard and different types of bedding just on deck, you know, just, just to have it, just to have it always readily available. Some type of cardboard, paper towel rolls, uh, egg cartons, stuff like that um, i'm actually touching the egg cart right now i'm not gonna grab that but uh i mean some you know paper and stuff like that and um the rat care then becomes really easy because a lot of what you need for a rat is actually free you know at that point so but um so i can use I can use um, this this paper that I have here just to fill up some space there. So what I'll do with that is uh, taking uh, basically put that up in there. And like I said, then it just becomes really cheap to take care of your racks. Like, not cheap. Cheap isn't a good word. Just really inexpensive. And you barely notice it. You see how all that water is, like, right there? So, what I'll do is I'll just take this whole piece. Rip it a little bit. And because I know that the water is going to drip and it's going to need to get soaked up. So, and then over time, like, this will last. Like, this will last right here. I mean, she'll chew through some of it, for sure. And she'll find her way. But a lot of this is going to be used to absorb everything. Like a lot of that is going to be used to absorb. So all that is is basically a cardboard. And there's a cardboard box base. And uh, just cardboard paper. So then what I'll do is. So then, what I'll do is, then what I do is, I grab bedding for them. I take it, I put that bedding in there. Gonna put more. It doesn't have to be too crazy. So you really wanna do this like, uh, so this is basically two bowls. So that was one bowl that I just put in there and then this bowl right here. So you can kind of see that. This is just like aspen, aspen bedding. Um, so what happens is though, as she chews through the bottom of all that, it just creates more bedding. So, and then because the rats are in the stage that they're at, 
um, I don't want to put too much bedding because I see what happens and it just creates like a mound and then she gets it all up in her food bowl. You know what I mean? She gets it all up in her food bowl because there's no place else for all this extra bedding to go. So I don't want to put too much. So don't think that I'm being like, oh, look how little bedding you put in there. No, it's just because I know what happens when I put too much. So I've, I've become pretty wise to, to how to do this. So that's just a little disclaimer. I know what happens so that's about as much as I would add so that's basically like a bowl and a half it's about as much as I would add um because I know she's just gonna chew through all this anyway and it's gonna create a, a whole completely different base so I put a base in there I put a cardboard base in there and then um yeah basically a cardboard base com uh, comprising cardboard box and uh cardboard paper and then I put this aspen bedding on top what she's gonna do with this is she's gonna try and burrow and as she burrows she's just gonna chew all the cardboard up and that's gonna create more bedding so it it's obviously all of it's gonna absorb the water but um and that's great but like then as it creates more bedding she's just gonna wind up getting all these pieces inside of her food and stuff like that so like this is fine for a rat even though it's not completely covered this is fine and then when i put her in there she's going to be super stoked So some guy always has to pull up with their truck next to me because you know they that's just the ballsy thing to do because they just want to be next to me and shit. <clears throat> so I'll do it first I'll put her food back in there. So I usually put her food like right here, right across from the water dish. Put her food right there across from the water dish. And I'll just put it in there however. Then I'll grab the pups out first. Actually, I'll grab mom out first. Hey, baby, they're in here nursing. Look, they're nursing right now. See them nursing? So I'm gonna grab her right now. Hey, baby, there you go. Put her up in there. She's good. Start putting her pups in there. Last one. <laughs> and that's so folks. That's basically how that's done. It's real simple, super simple. So rats are really easy. 
Rats are really easy. Hey, you. Super simple. Really complex, though, at the same time. Very, very, very complex. Boop. Like, share, subscribe. Stay tuned. So, I make sure I handle her as much as possible just so she knows that this is going to be like a thing. I need to always be able to handle the rat. If I can't handle the rat, I'm getting rid of it. So, like, my male, though, I don't handle him because I know how he responds, but he does his job. So, it's not all that necessary for me to handle him, but when I do have to handle him, I mean, I'm not going to say that I get rough, but I definitely know, like, hey, look, <laughs> you're not going to bite me. <laughs> like, And then that's pretty much where that ends, you know, I just let him know, hey, you're not going to bite me. And then... You know, if I'm just transitioning from one enclosure to another enclosure for whatever reason, which I don't do that because he just basically just stays, he basically just stays in there. Now, where's her? She basically just stays in there. There's no need for him to come out. There's really no need for him to come out at all. So he just basically just stays in there and I can clean. I can clean while he's in there. So that's that's basically that on that. It's basically that on that. Put that back like that. And then boom. Just gotta put those holes in there. Make sure you put those holes in there. Make sure there's enough holes. And uh for the most part they don't really get out. I mean they got a little chew right there, a little chew. But that's why I don't put much in there for them to climb on. I only put, like, uh, stuff in there to climb on, really, when it's just the pups in there. When it's just, like, the small rats and if they want to climb. But when the mom's in there, I don't put stuff in there for them to climb on. Because they can use that as leverage to chew. You know? So, just stuff like that. But, um, like, share, subscribe.